So, Gabe, we're going to have you on today. We're talking about the Ultimate Salmon Derby, and yeah. it's a new thing. Tell us about that. New thing. Lots of prizes. Uh, $400,000 in prizes. Um, That's almost a half a million for those of you storing at home. Yeah. Eight weeks long. It resets every week for eight weeks, and uh, we're uh, we're giving a boat a week away. So, wow. basically, uh, first place on, on the king side of things is, is going to get a boat every week. So... Um, and then the overall winner is going to win a 23 foot center console. So some huge, I think the important thing to bring up up front is, is, is where it's at. We're on, we're on Lake Michigan. We've got a derby on Lake Michigan now again, yeah, which yeah. is, which is cool. Yeah. So, I mean, for a long time, the Michigan guys didn't really have much to, mm-hmm. to compete in. So we're, I was a Lake Ontario derby guy and, and bringing it to, uh, Bringing it to Lake Michigan was something I wanted to do, so uh, we developed a format, and you know, we, along with the the king side of things too, we have a trout division, and then you guys, uh, Fishhawk is the the Atlantic division side. Yep. Uh, you guys are sponsoring the whole whole Atlantic division, which thank you very much. Yeah, no, it's not. Got a cool. You guys definitely have a great reputation, and, and that's kind of geared towards the Lake Huron side. So, the Derby's all Lake Michigan and all Lake Huron. So, yeah. And start date, end date? Uh, June fifteenth through August eleventh. Yeah. Um, resets every week. It's eight weeks long, and we'll have a live leaderboard on the website. Um, Do you know when? When's the last time Lake Michigan had a Derby? I, I don't. I don't remember. Um, I know in the nineties, I think someone tried to start one up Okay. and it was just a couple of ports. Uh, some of the tackle shops have mm-hmm. new derbies that right. they put on, but nothing, nothing of this caliber. We're, we're really trying to bring, we, the goal is to bring people that, uh, wouldn't compete normally in a tournament or, mm-hmm. you know, to bring the families out, bring the individuals, the weekend anglers. That's, that's what this is, you know, a big part right. of is, is getting all those people involved and and that's kind of why why we wanted to jump on board was you know to support those people that that you know small boats trailer boats um like you say maybe people that that they don't they're not going to fish you know one of the other pro-am style events or yeah. you know i mean this is this gives them uh opportunity at a pretty reasonable cost to get involved with something and and obviously uh you know come you know potentially come you know walk out of it with some pretty uh pretty big time prizes so yeah yeah some awesome prizes uh you know we're definitely excited to be giving away one of the new lithium units that you guys are providing that's uh that's been a hot commodity just in the fishing buzz that i've heard here at the show sure what so what what are we giving away for boats uh so they're uh made by alt2 power boats out of alabama they're uh 18 foot center consoles okay uh They'll have Suzuki power on them. Uh, we're giving away seven of those, and then one of the 23-foot uh, center consoles, same same brand, ALP2 power boats. Uh, really awesome, awesome rigs, you know. For definitely for the weekend angler, they're they're a great, great setup. And and how's uh, and how do how are they awarded? I mean, what's the how's the prize structure work? So basically. Um, First place, the biggest fish of the week will get a boat. So it's the uh, biggest king of the week will get a boat. Um, and that's every week the derby resets. So you're basically fishing from Saturday morning until Friday night. Uh, so you can fish anytime. You can just weigh in fish. You can upgrade fish throughout the week. And, and at the end of the week, if you've caught the biggest fish, you're, you're going to get awarded the, the boat. Um, all the prizes are awarded at the award ceremony, mm-hmm. so that's at the that's going to be mid September. Uh, we'll be announcing that date, but uh, basically, if you make it through the entire derby and you were the overall biggest, you <laughs> you're going to get the the 23 foot version of that boat. So cool. Yes. And way stations throughout up and down the up and oh, down the lake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Our uh, I think we're up to. 18 now on the, okay. on the salmon side so both sides of the lake uh the wisconsin side we've got some in illinois michigan um you've got some on the huron side so they're they're all over they're scattered all around we're, i feel like we're within let's say an hour of every hot course that okay 
where we feel that the big ones are getting caught up. Sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. How do people get in? Um, just jump on our website. You can purchase a ticket uh, online at uh, www.theultimatesalmonderby.com. And uh, it's it's pretty simple. You just register. It's, it's per person. Or you can buy a boat ticket, which would cover anyone that steps foot on your boat. So uh, we're doing some incentives for families. So a uh, family of five can buy a ticket for 300 bucks. Okay. Uh, that's two adults and, and up to three children under 18. And, and what are, what's the individual? What, are, what is the price structure? Uh, 100 bucks for an okay. individual ticket. Okay. Uh, 1300 for a family ticket. Okay. Uh, sorry, 1300 for a boat ticket. Boat ticket, okay. And 300 for a family ticket. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. And, and you can fish on any boat potentially so you can charter i mean you could yeah, if, you, if a charter if, if a charter has a buys a boat ticket then you're then they're in on that yeah yeah, yeah. so uh our charter boats the charter boats that are buying a boat ticket are listed on the website okay so uh, there will be charter boats participating if someone doesn't want to buy it an individual ticket because they still want to participate they can jump on a charter with one of the sure. charter boats that's that's participating so. yeah and and that's and i know and i think you model it after some of the you know canadian you know derbies but uh you know i know that that's a huge you know that's been a huge thing for you know for the toronto fishery for a long long time and and yeah. uh, so i think it's really cool that that uh you know you're bringing that to lake michigan so yeah yeah we're uh we're excited about it i feel like we took uh the good things out of a few different events and you know, put it together, added some additional items that we thought would work for, for the fisheries that we're presenting it to. And, and that was, uh, yeah, that's the goal, you know, cool. to, to make it a better event than, than what we've done. So, right. um, but yeah, it's exciting, exciting. Uh, we're, we're, we're super excited. I, I wanted to talk about the Atlantic side of things. So yeah, let's do that. fishery that, uh, you know, the states, the DNR, uh, a lot of the clubs have, have developed this Atlantic fishery in Lake Huron that uh, people don't really know too much about. So um, we're excited that, that you guys are going to showcase that side of it. Um, I know there's there's people are going to be eye open because I've I've spoken to some of the captains and so on that have been targeting Atlantic specifically. It's been pretty hot time, so yeah. Gonna open up a whole maybe it's thing. a coming out party for that uh, for that fishery. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it'd be pretty neat. I mean, that's that's something that's kind of been on my bucket list to do is get up and do that. I know it's, uh, um, you know, there's, like you say, there's not a lot of people talking about it yet. Yeah. But uh, uh, you know, I know the people that do it. They're pretty exciting fish, and they and they really, uh, they, you know, they really they get hooked on them. You know, they're like a king that jumps, basically, is is how it's is how it's been described to me. Yeah, so a little, a little moody, from what I understand. Uh, yeah. I mean, I've I've targeted them too. I've, I've fished Lake Huron. Um, you know, they'll, they'll live out, they almost live like a uh, brown trout at times outside of, you know, they're not as temperature related, uh, as let's say a king, um, you know, but they are accessible, you know, for the weekend guys. And sure. I think it's, it's just a great fishery to highlight that Michigan has put effort into and, yeah. and you know, uh, here they're awesome table fare too. Yeah. Uh, everyone I've caught. One of my guests or someone that came fishing with me is taking it home. Let's take it home. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's talk about that. I get some questions about the boat winners and, and people are answering them, but uh, the Atlantic Salmon Division, win a fish hog. Yeah. Um, how does it? How does the prize structure work when it comes to the Atlantic Salmon Division? So the Atlantic is is a overall. So the it's basically over the full eight weeks. So okay. that doesn't reset every week. Um, but uh, Fish Hawk is providing prizes for first, second, and third, and we'll have those uh, up on the website here soon. Um, but uh, yeah, that's so basically it's an overall for the top three. Good. And, and you've got a division for Coho? Uh, no, it's actually it's Kings. Okay. Uh, a lot of folks have a hard time identifying between a large, large Coho and a King, so we have one King division. Um, and then we have a trout division, which is uh, lake trout, steelhead, and brown trout all in one category. Okay. Um, and then the Atlantic division that we talked about. So. Yeah, it could it could get pretty interesting. I mean, with uh, 
the winter we're having or lack thereof um, and the big fish that have come out the last couple of years uh, could be yeah. could be some pretty impressive it could could be a, it could take a big fish to uh, get this done this year yeah yeah it's uh I'm excited about it I mean it seems like I've traveled to all these ports and talked to all these way stations and everyone says oh my big fish is going to come out of our port this is you know we're going to win the trout division with the big brown or we're going to win the lake trout division with the big lake or the trout division with the big lake or you know um, we know where the atlantics are you know we're gonna it's everyone has a, an idea of what they're, I, gonna I, do. I, I, they're yeah. making a prediction that they're going to be oh, the uh, they're oh, going to yeah. be the lucky port so. yeah. that's good everybody's thinking they're going to win the lottery yeah same thing <laughs> right. yeah so you said you were a lake ontario guy and now you're obviously doing this for the michigan lakes How'd you go from uh, being a Lake Ontario guy to being a, a Michigan guy? So I live in the Detroit area. So for me, it was either four, four and a half hours to Lake Ontario, or it was four, four and a half hours to Lake Michigan. So uh, for up until COVID, I was we were traveling to Lake Ontario, the North Shore of Lake Ontario. So uh, that's that's where I cut my teeth derby fishing. Um, and then once COVID hit, we. Uh, we decided, you know, with with all the restrictions crossing the border and the costs and everything, we said, hey, let's go back to Michigan. And, and we had some friends there that kept nagging us to, to go. And you know what? I, I fell back in love with Michigan. Like I, I definitely, the Lake Michigan has something special. So uh, we got there and we decided, hey, there's other than the big tournaments, there's nothing to yeah. compete in. So, right. Uh, started talking to everyone that I knew in the industry, you know, reached out to you guys, reached out to all of our sponsors and mm-hmm. said, Hey, is this possible to pull this together? And we did it. So. And signups have started? Signups have started. They started December 4th. Okay. Uh, we we're giving people some incentive to sign up early. So we're doing weekly giveaways, 48 weeks of weekly giveaways. So I think we're into week three right now of giveaways. Okay. So $250 prize packs that we give away every week, all year round up until December 29th, I think is our last giveaway. Great. So just to keep people engaged, the goal is to build a community, right. you know, around the Derby. So, you know, I think that's always the toughest thing, you know, a first year event, right, is, is getting that, you know, getting that ball kind of rolling and, and getting people, uh, you know, getting awareness there. And so, yep. We got a, a question coming here talking about being a Lake Ontario guy and fishing that North Shore, and he wants to know, uh, are you able to participate if you're not a resident? Canadians, for example. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're also putting on a walleye derby on top of the salmon derby. Uh, but, yeah, we've we've brought in – there's Canadians that have bought the, the derby tickets. There's nothing restricting you. It's just, you know, obviously all the taxes and everything, that registration and – all of that that comes along with winning a prize in the U.S. That's still the responsibility if you're a Canadian. So gotcha. So so obviously the Canadian side of Lake Huron is is fair game. So the Canadian side is fair game. Yeah. But the the way stations are on the Michigan side though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, I actually am bringing uh, part of my my Lake Ontario team to come fish Ludington with me this okay. year. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. They'll be uh, they're Canadians. There you go. Okay. Well, there there you go. Good Lake answer. In Michigan. So if you can get your fish to Michigan, you absolutely can do it. Yeah. Yeah. There's guys already talking about. Uh, there's some, like in Port Huron, and um, there's guys talking that they're gonna bring their fish across the border, weigh them in Port Huron. Okay. There's that's legal. I know we we've, we've brought fish back and forth across the okay. border. Okay. So. Right. All right, you got a shirt on that says the Ultimate Salmon Derby. Yep. You got a hat on that says Captain Shucks. Yeah. Tell me about your connection with Captain Shucks. They're one of our way stations. So um, uh, Scott over at Captain Shucks is uh, a supporter of the Derby. So Good. we're, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's the hat I, I grabbed this morning. And, you know, they, it, they, they treat us good. We're out of Ludington, so I, I know that's where I'm it, it could be the, uh, that could be the port. Yeah. Yeah, you never know. I mean, uh, realistically, it's all about putting your hours in. Mm-hmm. Um, if you put your hours in, your, your, your chances are much better. If, sure. if you just go and fish an hour in the morning and then, you know, you don't put your hours in, 
it's it's difficult. Well, I I think the you know the fun thing about a derby format is if you're going anyways. I mean, for the price of dinner essentially or what you know i mean for not a whole lot of you know a lot of not a whole lot of extra investment you're in something to participate in you know just again one more reason to one more reason to go so yeah i think it's like 12 bucks a week something yeah like that so yep. uh pretty affordable that was part of the goal is i wanted to make it attainable for everyone sure and uh you know if we all gather together this this can grow and yeah. Be able to offer bigger prizes extra, even yeah. that. So awesome. that's the goal. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. What else you got for us, Gabriel? Um, I just appreciate you guys having me on. I know, uh, okay. you know, this what you guys do is is great, and I want everyone to know, you know, that's watching this that uh, to showcase the fishery the way you guys do, and, and bring all the different fishermen in to talk about the fishery and. It just gives knowledge that you can't get sitting sitting at home, you know, sitting on your couch. This knowledge that comes through these these three seats in here is, is unparalleled. Like I watch all your stuff. Oh, I, I'd say most of the knowledge usually comes from these two seats, and then. <laughs> you know. Well, you I, ask great questions. Well, yeah, it, it's uh, it's great, you know, and. and Everyone should support Fish Hawk and what you yeah, can do. Yeah, no, I appreciate There's it. more than just the speed temp units that are part of Fish Hawk. I see that. I've seen it for years, and, and that's that's important. Like you support your companies, your manufacturers. Yep. They support us as fishermen, and you know that's. I think that's cool. that's the cool thing about the Great Lakes fishery, and that's why it's a fun market to be in. Is it is like everybody kind of helps each other, and so it's it's a. It's definitely, uh, definitely a good, definitely a fun market to be a part of for sure. So. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. I look forward to having everyone as part of the Derby. Check us out, Ultimate Salmon Derby, Ultimate Walleye Derby, and uh, you know, we're, we're super excited to, to be hosting the events. Great. Yeah. Best of luck. So we just we got a question here coming. Let's clarify this. Uh, just wanted to make sure all of the way stations are in the state of Michigan, so nothing in Wisconsin or Illinois. No, well, we do have way stations, Wisconsin, Illinois. Um, if you jump on our website in the uh, about in the about us, uh, sorry, the info tab on the on the uh, on the website, you'll see a, there's a way station. It's a, it's a map and it's for the wrong. So on both sides of Lake Michigan, Scott, uh, both Wisconsin, Illinois, and in Michigan, but Lake Huron only on the Michigan side, not on the other. Yeah, yeah. There's some. Uh, there's some tax implications that we couldn't we could have way stations on both sides and, and uh, hopefully we'll work through that in coming years and just sure. uh, year year one here we're uh, it's only the Michigan side but you can fish both sides so death oh. and taxes will get you anywhere you go yeah <laughs> yeah they're guaranteed mm -hmm. can't get away from them. cool. <laughs> All right, really appreciate it, Gabriel. Thanks Thank for you stopping for by. Appreciate it. Gabe, yeah, you. good to see good you, man. You. Yeah, yeah, take care.